Eclipse Scientific has added a new feature available in Beam 206, a calibration block designer. This feature allows you to create custom calibration blocks as a new drawing set within your workspace. Starting with a new or existing workspace, use the drop down menu to switch from subject to calibration block. A default cal block will be displayed using the thickness of your piece. To modify the cal block, open the block configuration dialog box. From here you can import block templates, save your block, automatically create a cal block, add targets, toggle dimension label visibility, or add your current block as another drawing set. Let's look at the auto cal block feature. When selected, Targets and dimensions will be modified to meet the requirements identified in ASME Section 5, Article 4, Figure T-434.2.1. The thickness will remain the same as your piece, but the width and depth will be modified. Side drill holes will be added, the diameter and depth of them as stipulated in the code, as well as notches placed in the center of the block, the width and depth as stipulated, and the distance from the edge the minimum required. You can view your block from the top or in 3D for a better perspective of target's positions. Now let's manually add targets. I'll start with a new workspace. Here are the options for modifying the dimensions of the block. As default, the thickness of the block will be locked to the thickness of your piece. When unlocked, the controls to change the thickness are made available. Other dimensions can be modified using absolute distances or factors. They can be set as a factor of T, representing thickness, or of D, which represents minimum distance. This is set by the user using the controls available. For example, if the depth of the block is to be four times the thickness of your piece, we can keep the factor of T and from the drop down menu select four times. We will look at D after adding some targets. Radii can be added to the left or right end of the block by using the sliders or value fields. To add a target, select the add target button and choose from the drop down, side drill hole, or notch. I'll start with a side drill hole, and for now, change all the controls to absolute dimensions. Options for positioning are X, Y, Depth, Diameter, and which face the hole is drilled into. You can also choose which corner of the block to reference. Let's use some factors. I'll change X to using a factor of D, or minimum distance. I'd like the minimum distance that a target is positioned from the edge, which is on the X plane, to be 15 millimeters. So I'll set the value for D in the block dimensioning to be 15 millimeters. And from the drop down, I'll select 1. Now my side drill hole is at the minimum distance I have chosen from the edge of the block. I'd like this side drill hole to be a quarter of the way down through the thickness. So from the drop down menu, I'll select 0.25 as a factor. I'll set the depth that the hole is machined to 20 millimeters and its diameter to 2. Now I'd like another side drill hole. I could add another from the target drop down, but since I have changed from the default how my first one is set up, I will just clone it. This one I will move to the other end of the block by choosing what corner it is referenced from, and change its Y position to 3 quarters or 0.75 times the thickness. Now I'll put a side drill hole on the far side of the block by cloning my last one, changing the face it is referencing, and its T factor to 1 half or 0.5 and I'll move it to the other end of the block.
Now for some notches. From the target drop down, add a notch. We'll change it from referencing the front of the block to referencing the middle of the block. And move it down to the other end by referencing the top right corner. Since the notch is centered on the block, its Z position has been disabled. I'll change the length to absolute distance and make it 20 millimeters long. With a depth of 0.5 millimeters and a width of 1. Now I'll clone it and move it to the bottom of the block by referencing the bottom right corner. The dimensioning labels can be turned on and off by toggling their visibility. The block ID can be edited by double clicking on the block's header. As well as the individual targets. You'll notice as you hover over the target headers, the targets on the block will be highlighted for easy identification. Now for some custom pieces. Select and group the geometry, then paste into the cow block drawing. You'll need to make the thickness, width, and depth of the calibration block zero. And position the top left corner handle of your geometry to zero, zero. Now you can add targets as required, but keep in mind with this setup the targets will need to be referenced from the top left corner, and distances will need to be absolute. Let us know if you have any questions. Email beamtool at eclipsescientific.com.